There's some good stuff in here. Yeah, mid-century modern. Ooh. That's what we came here for. Wow, I might need more batteries for this place. Hi, I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And today we're in Austin, Texas at... The Austin Antique Mall. That's right, this is the largest antique mall in the city of Austin. And we're gonna go check it out. We are, come on in. So which way should we go? I don't know, please. It's enormous. This place is gigantic. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's start this way, and that way we can knock it off. Go to your right. This one is definitely <laughs> a big one. It's a big one. It's a ball. Hey, <laughs> hidden amongst all this other stuff, Lola. Yes. Look. Ice bucket, yeah. I a found a. I found another one on that side. They're, they're always tucked oh, away, tucked oh, wow, in there. Yeah. More mid-century ice buckets. Not mine. Here, baby, you want a vintage uh, shop seat? I have nowhere to put that, but it is a pretty blue. This way, when you're working on your classic ride, you're set up. Yeah, when I have a classic ride. And somebody recently asked me why we don't show more signs. I'm like, hey, it's a little, it's a little bit of a flashback to 20 years ago when American Pickers was super popular get those sign action going on. And I know I don't show them often because we're usually more focused on mid-century modern, but I do love some mid-century advertisements. Mm -hmm. Stacks and stacks of 50s and 60s analog sci-fi. Some great ones. And guess what I found in the next booth, Lola? I'm afraid I'm gonna knock things over. Mid-century modern. Ooh. That's what we came here for. Nice. Look at that. It's a nice tray. You know I like trays, for sure. Yeah, for sure. The glasses. This place has got some great stuff. That is an amazing ice bucket. Yeah, wow. that is. I've never seen one I like, like that. I like that one. That's fascinating. Some pretty furniture. We could re we could put enough furniture to replace half of it in our house. Yeah, I know. Just from this booth alone. I like this. This Look is that. gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. Those are those units are not common at all. Gonna have to get a new house first. because These it's are big. something that we've actually been looking for for a while, but every single time we find one that's in really great shape like this, it's like in California or say Texas like this, and we can't afford to bring it all Texas? the way back home. Little geography lesson Texas is far away from Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Walnut desk dresser. Yep, this is for, yeah, this is for your organizing like rings and jewelry on your dresser. It's a vintage grooming kit, Lola. Well, uh, can yes. you imagine um, how much looks... work the average man must have put in back in the day to think... keep themselves looking good? A little nail file, keep those toenails sharp, keep your face looking good, to all of keep that. Keep your toenails sharp. That's right. Keep, yeah. You gotta keep them sharp so you can <laughs> yeah. kick, kick them. Hey Lola, I found monkey pod for days. You even got monkey pod forks and spoons. Ooh, I like those. Trays, all the bowls. Lola found a pretty punch bowl. I do love a good punch bowl, and this one's yeah. really pretty. You could add it to your punch bowl collection. I know. Would this fit in my Is luggage? Is there anyone but Lola? Let us know who has a punch bowl collection. Oh come on, this lady they're collects the everything. best. Who doesn't like to go to a party and have a big bowl of punch? She wants to have like a party, I think, with like 10 punch bowls at it. Yes, I would have a punch <laughs> bowl party. I think that the rest of this place has really just been a decoy. <laughs> Why do you always have to pan to me? Because <laughs> you want me to laugh at your jokes. The more you groan, the funnier it is. <laughs> Ooh, this is back pretty. in here is like one of the coolest things I've seen in a minute. This is actually an old toaster. You can Ooh. see the slots on top. There, it's kind of hidden up inside this this box. I got it in. This is definitely over the top where you can like set it, and then down the bottom is actually a tray <gasps> to bake more things in Do for I the need little that? oven toaster. That's so cool. Please. I think if you got that, I think we would like it, but I don't think I'd ever want to turn it on uh, in yeah. our vintage RV because I'd be afraid we'd, I'd burn be a little vintage worried RV to the ground for sure. Look at this huge butcher block. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. 
that's, that's actually out of a butcher shop. Slightly large. <laughs> it's about the price I was expecting to see because yeah. those things are super rare. Oh my rare. gosh, there's a lot of wood. <laughs> yeah. If you heard of a cookie jar, but have you heard of a turkey jar? Oh my gosh. I like turkeys. <laughs> I host Thanksgiving. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, Duke, <coughs> since you pointed it out. The ultimate question is, is how do we get it home from Austin? Yeah. It wouldn't fit in my luggage. And would you fill it with cookies or, <laughs> or giblets? I would, <laughs> gravy. It's gravy. a huge gravy Just, boat. I say you fill it with mashed potatoes. There you go. It, it is really cool. very challenging to get the mashed potatoes out of there again. Yeah. I don't know if it has the price in here. Or if it does, I can't see it's it. It's priceless. It's a priceless <laughs> turkey jar. Ooh. I like this boost. You got some cool stuff in this yeah. one. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of it already. You're a big fan? Oh yeah, you're, he's a big fan. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> These are pretty. Yeah, those are pretty great. Oh, look at babe, I'm a big fan too. Oh no, this is a, a heater. It's a heater. <laughs> <laughs> I find this stuff really hot. There's a lot of camping <laughs> stuff going on in here. I'm not sure what this lamp is, but I love it. It's got that Egyptian thing going on, so it makes me think it must be turn of the, not our last century, but the century before, like the late 1890s, early 2000s. That, that was everyone was fascinated with Egypt back then. It was just like the coolest thing, but it's pretty awesome. I love mm -hmm. that lamp. I like this scarf. He loves lamp. I do. I love lamp. Duke loves lamp. Oh no, Lola found some mid-century furniture. Well, when I, I mean, yes, yeah, some of that, but I like that. I like that. It's like a big king chair. Wow. It's for the king of the Tiki Castle. That is amazing. You should get our friends, uh, Don Waters would be all over this. <laughs> that is amazing. So, uh, there you go. It's made tiki, for you. Tiki queen. You could be the tiki queen, queen of the tiki <laughs> scene. <laughs> Lola walked all the way in here, went straight for the amazing jackets. Well, I found this and first. missed the entire wall. I didn't, I saw that marks. and I saw this. <laughs> I don't think these are um, Tiki Totem. Yeah, these are some pretty standard Tiki mugs here, uh, but there might, might be some collectibles. Someone's gonna look at these and tell me, Duke, how did you miss that? And I'm not gonna lie, I am not the expert at uh, collectible tiki mugs, but if this is something you're looking for, they got them. You know, yes. this may be the most American mid-century set I've ever laid eyes on before. <laughs> I did notice that. It's even got the eagles. Is this so you a can little take, cactus? So you can take a shot out of an eagle? I guess. Yeah, look at that. Actually, with the, the little, the to little be cactuses? Truthful, with the cactus, though, it makes me think that's like Mexico. I don't know. Because like the it Mexican though. flag, he's got the snake and the eagle. The, all the little things that go in here are behind the cart. Oh. So if you want this, <laughs> I was going to pick them up, but I'd have to like oh, reach okay. down there. But we actually good. have one of these yeah. that's been sitting in our breezeway for about two years in mint condition. Yeah. All four tiers. It's going to somebody sometimes. Gotta go to yeah. somebody. I haven't figured it out yet. Well, it's still hunting. There's still so much to find. Finding we haven't even gone through 25% of this place yet. There's a theme in this booth. So, come on over. A theme. There's a theme. There's a lot of theme going on here. I think the theme, The Last Supper? It's just the theme. You can't <laughs> have enough of The you Last Supper. You need a theme. Come on. this fit? These fit in our luggage? Kind of like them. Fit some metal chairs in our luggage? I like the color. I like the patina. <laughs> yes, patina please. means sitting out in the desert sun. Sure. <laughs> you want some hats? Yeah, I do actually. I'm looking for a cowboy hat. A leather wiggle skirt? I know. A pink leather wiggle skirt. Pretty great. <laughs> Pretty great. Oh, 
Oh, yes. These little heads. They are. Yes, they were very popular at one point. Yeah. All these mugs like this. And look they at all the piratey ones. are interesting, for sure. Some people are really all about those. And if you are, this is the place to get them. You got they some. They hook you up. You got some to choose from. And get your steins. Yes. So it says it's a vintage lucite ice bucket with tongs. That is neat. Um, it's this even got a tray in it. It has a tray. A tissue box. I don't know how vintage. I mean, vintage in like that is probably from the 80s. So it is technically over 25 years old. I mean, old. it's kind of cool. So many things to look at. There's a lot of glassware. What did you find, Lola? I found this wooden bowl that's shaped like a fish. A, f a fishy you could, bowl. You could serve some tuna salad in mm -hmm. it. Sounds I fishy mean, to me. Sounds, sounds fishy. fishy to me. Certainly oh. does. But I like it. <gasps> look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that hat. I need it. Look at those hats. Look at this bag. Like, there's just so much. I kind of want to try those shoes on. I'm not going to lie. No. Aren't those Big pretty? Big Pepin and G's. Yeah. Wow. I like them. There's some good stuff in here. Yeah. I wonder if it's locked up. Yeah. Under lock and key. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm it's trying to figure out what these are back here. Is it a calm? Is it a fascinator? Like a hair comb Is it fascinator? A hair yeah. What are those? I'm. They've got to be made out of like lucite or something. They look like it. Those are pretty oh, impressive. Wow. Also locked up. Also locked they up. They may we stay can't a figure they out. They may stay a mystery. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty impressive. It'd be awesome for a tattoo parlor. Can you imagine this for a tattoo shop? Okay, so I see this and I recognize its coolness, but did you see that? It's a huge Santa, huge what? blow mold Santa. That's the largest blow mold Santa I may have ever seen in the shop. I, it's gotta be five feet it. tall. I need it. That's crazy. Vintage blow mold Santa. I need it. I'm gonna come around, see if I can find the blow mold Ooh, Santa. Ooh, this is pretty. Well, you can see him a little bit way back. Oh, it's too bad they don't have a full set of these. Aren't those pretty? Flying boomerang. I like that 1950s pink. boomerang oh my tumbler. Gosh. It's the best. Wow, those are great. So we'll do moon dance. Love this song. I have not seen that glass before. Hey. Ooh. Oh, guess what? More boots. Cowie boots. That's None with little snake heads on this them, is which is good. I've never seen in a single place, just right here. There's some legit boots. Who killed JR? Oh. Who killed JR? That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Lola, you have in your hands a Fijian War Club. They yeah. actually have a full size Fijian War Club just sitting here laying on the it's floor. Heavy. That is crazy. It's yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. Let's get all of our tiki heads down here because I can't afford it and I certainly can't bring it back with me in my luggage. So someone's got to come and get this. Shopping for Duke. Oh, so wow. Maybe a little small, but this one would probably fit. Or maybe this one. There's some good stuff. Very 60s. Couple nice well, little got the cat cans. Cans. Yeah, look the at The cat that. Can society, baby. Those are pretty great. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, that is cute. It's a little, it's a little warm here for that, but. Wow. Well, yeah, but you, you wouldn't be wearing it here. <laughs> You'd be wearing it in Oregon where it's cold. I guess right you're right. Now. You're right. It is cold. Feel that. Ooh. I think you would die if it Disco was warm outside cowboy. at all. Disco cowboy. Disco cowboy. Yes. Oh, this wow. is super cute. Look at this guy. <gasps> Well, that's great. I, why can't he fit in you, my suitcase? For a lady who doesn't eat that many cookies, actually, or sweets. I know. You do love cookie jars. I do love cookie jars. Can't help it. Cannot help it. <sighs> oh, wow. It's just endlessly amazing in here. they got some great stuff. Another ice bucket. And this tray that, like, folds up like that. It's like an end table slash tray you can take. 
Lola still back here. She can't can't get her out of the corner. Finding some clothes. I mean, that's right. Look at that. They the, say that no one color. puts baby in the corner, but baby mm -hmm. puts herself in the corner yes. for enough vintage clothes. Look at that. Super cute. Oh, wow. Not crazy about brown, but I love the mm -hmm. cut of this. Mm -hmm. Look at the green. Did you all notice that Juke is already very bored of looking at clothes? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not. I found a little dolly of you over here. Oh, you know how much I love dolls. I Hello, do love, my lady. Hello, my darling. I do love Hello, pink my ragtime hats. Girl. Get, your, get your flapper on. But there's a little orange one up there oh that's super amazing. Oh, wow. It's got feathers. That one is way, that's more Miss Maisel right up there. Yeah. This like is more it. boop boopy doop. Oh yeah, it's not exactly my style. It's cute and all. I think I had it on backwards actually. These lamps over here are crazy. Mm -hmm. Those are amazing. I don't know where we'd have room in our house for them. We don't. We'd have to get a new house. Those are amazing. Just a new house, no problem. Wow. And the shades, I haven't seen one like that in a minute with the little pinholes in them. Those are great. All right, Lola, we've okay. covered about a third of this place so There's far. so much more. We're still gonna keep going on. This is how you find all the cool things. You just keep digging. Come here, Duke. We need a shop for you because you need to be a natty dresser. Oh, snap. Look at these ties. There's a matador. There's that oh bronco guy. <laughs> The black and gold. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Or is that brown? It's brown. It's brown. Look okay, at it. Okay. Look at the detail though on it. Oh, I see. There's it. a leather tie behind it. I do love the matadors. Those are great. Yeah. Those are some really amazing ties in here. Is there anything good on the wall back there? Glass. Uh, certainly people in the tiki scene do enjoy having them. They're made out of little pieces of wood actually, but if you look really closely, I think it's either wood or straw or something like that if I remember correctly. But yeah, they're always made like handmade out of these things to create this art. It's pretty fun and yeah, it's definitely older. I don't know how. Now I'm gonna give away my age a little bit because it's something that we normally oh, never talk about on the yes. channel. And it's pretty beat up, but oh my God. I actually had a friend who owned one of these in the 80s and they were so gaudy even in the 80s, the big bright yellow. They were too extreme for me. The store has endless amounts of monkey pod and ice buckets, but I do love this mid-century. Is it vintage? I am not familiar with this. We've never seen these oh, yeah. morning wire is what it says. Hmm. It has to be new. Maybe, I don't know that. That doesn't look new. Wow, it looks like it's a new shape. But it's a, a rare set. Look at these chairs. Aren't those gorgeous? I love that fabric. That reminds me of my grandma's house I know. right there. Those are grandma chairs. Those grandma are grandma chairs. chairs. For sure. So much, Lola. We've spent hours here looking for this stuff. I know. Look so much. Look at all much. these. They got vintage cookbooks. I love vintage cookbooks. Oh my gosh. I don't even... So many times I find things that I just haven't seen in so long. And the minute I saw these boxes, I knew exactly what I was going to find in here. Because when I was a kid in the 80s, these were already older. And uh, I got my hands on one. And there it is. Twixed. And my brother and I used to play this game all the time in the 80s against each other. It was a very interesting set. Yeah, these sets are from the 60s. Games were a lot more complex back then uh, than the, the mainstream games are. Uh, today, obviously, you've got some super complex games if you go to like the fun stores. 
so much here. We're, we're going to keep going on. Of course, we're always looking for mid-century modern things, uh, and then lowbrow art, things from the 50s and 60s. But if there's other things you're looking for, this place has also got that to hook you up. Oh my. Look at this crazy chair. That's awesome. This screams 60s to me. Oh yeah. You can tell by the when you move it how heavy it is. Solid metal like that. That's great. That's some serious office chair vibes. A little madman action. Sorry, killed. I had to run away for a second. My, my battery died on me and I had to get a whole new battery. Duke killed the battery. I did. So something <laughs> I've learned in my, my journey yes. is that this is 30,000 square feet. Yikes. So this is three times the size of the <laughs> largest one in the whole state of Oregon. Yikes. Uh, half the size of the one we just did in California. And the other thing I learned is that uh, the manager who told us that we could go shoot video like my shirt, squirrel nut zippers. And he said, that's why he's letting us shoot the video today. <laughs> So we are jumping ahead. We're gonna start moving a little faster in here and looking for more just mid-century stuff because this place is amazing and we could give you an hour. We could be here concept. for days. I know it, days. for real. Surprisingly, this is like the first chicken swag I've seen since I've been in here. And I bet you Lola would actually love this. Is this a, what is it? Is it a, the case is unlocked. We're gonna find out. Is it a salt shaker? What is it? Is it a little wind-up toy? Oh gosh, it's a little wind-up toy. Lola. Did you find a chicken? A little <gasps> chicken wind-up toy from the 50s what? made out of Bakelite. This chicken is so cute. Look at this guy. Mm, I like him. You can wind him up and make him go. Da, 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 I'm afraid if I wind yeah, him up, he will, he will break. Wanna, we, we don't want to break, break him. <laughs> Lola likes her stylized chickens. I do like some Not your normal like farmhouse chicken. chicken stuff like this this isn't too much for Lola just to point this out to people you may love this it's great for you but if you're looking for you know for what Lola, though I do like a spoon rest and this is a spoon rest. <laughs> oh no so Lola has exceptions to her except <laughs> exceptions I have exceptions new rules for Lola this is actually day. my favorite kind of antique mall where things are just packed in here so much so that you can look and look and look and think you've seen everything but yeah we have this one. Oh, that is that's the set that Lola collects yeah See? What is this? Look at this pretty dress. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have the feeling we're going into some more vintage dresses. Well, uh, we need luggage to go home with. Oh, there you go. You are set. All right, we've made the corner and going back down the middle aisle now. I like need a wine break. Oh. I need a mimosa break right mm -hmm. now. That sounds like the Lola I know. <laughs> I need Lola. to put this to use. Oh, look it. We have these. We have that set, but not that tall one. No, that doesn't look in great shape, though. Yeah, it's a little... no, we have the tumblers of this set. I have multiples of those. Hey, Lola. Mm -hmm. I think someone's calling for you. Oh, hello. Hey. Banana phone. He thinks he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Almost walked out of this booth until I saw the sideboard hiding out with everything on it. That is crazy. That's a great sideboard. Look at that. Oh, it's in great shape. Well, they know what they got. Let's say that, but that mm -hmm. is a great sideboard. Wow. Sometimes you miss those things because they're hidden with so much other stuff. Like the, uh, I just like this kind of um, dish set. Always love a good dish set. Plastic ones? Mm -hmm. The Melamac or Melamine yeah. or whatever they are. The anonized aluminum ones. Mm -hmm. found her favorite style of chicken. Yeah, it's my favorite kind of chickens. The 50, 60 stylized All these little pretty, chickens. yeah. You've got some on the doors of your kitchen cabinets now. I do, now. I do. I guess I don't need more. Ooh, 
more clothing. Oh man. I'm just feeling overwhelmed by this place, as I'm assuming anyone watching this is, and it's amazing. You could spend hours and hours here and just find some great things. You will certainly will not run out of choices. No. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at that. There's creepy dolls, like we talk about all the time, but are there armless and legless creepy dolls? This is the torso. What has someone done to this doll? I mean, okay, so Why? take a look, and this is a little, a little serial killer-ish, mm -hmm. but then if you turn around... No. <laughs> <gasps> wow. There's, there, there were warning signs. There always if you go to someone's listen house to the warning signs and they have that kind of thing going on just to let you know those are warning signs friends run away uh, i used to lola and i used to actually own used bookstores for about seven years people always talk about hardy boys and nancy drew and they don't realize that there were actually many many different mystery novels back then for children and the jury west series uh fairly common actually back in the day i don't see them so much anymore but they've got just a big stack of them so if your kids you got somebody in your life who just loves that style of 1950s uh, kids mysteries uh, the Jerry West series is always fun to collect the other one my personal favorites is the Tom Swift series which was science fiction for kids back then not a oh, chalk fish no no not a chalk fish I see room <laughs> in our luggage right now to take this home yes oh my gosh and he's what are these? Are they bowls? I don't know, what but I they? like them. They're amazing. Those are screamingly sexy. They are cool. And outstanding. I love metal outdoor sets like this. Those are great. Wow. Some great stuff in this booth. Oh, I know you like this. I do like that. She loves those shelves. Some fun stuff in there. Mm-hmm. Some great things. I like this lamp back here. That's pretty amazing. Wow, so many tiki mugs here, actually, surprisingly enough. More than I normally see in a lot of these places. This is a tiki farm, but it's 2005 tiki farm. Much more rare. You don't see too many of those lurking around. This style here, extremely common, made in Japan, however, for the Hawaiian market. same Chinese those are not so valuable but Tiki Farm always a good solid choice if you're collecting those fine young cannibals me crazy. that's me I drive him crazy oh that's true that's true <laughs> by the way for people who are watching sometimes I get asked around them, these are not Tiki those are 100% Mexican art Holy cow, Lola. <laughs> You'll never guess what I just saw. Holy cow. A cow. <laughs> Has horns. Does that mean it's a steer? We don't know about cows. <laughs> this is a really cool set. Like, look at this whole thing. Wow. It's Melmac, which I always think is super cool. But look at it. It's I'm like a concerned full... about Melmac, and I don't know all of the ins and outs about it. Does it handle heat well? That was always my concern with Melmac. I don't probably, know. I, there's no way you could put it in a dishwasher. Mm. That's probably why they're not around anymore. Ooh. I don't know, but this is a really cool set. They're I fun. They're really good the if color. you have a vintage camper and yeah. you want to take those with you because they don't weigh much. They're yeah. very light. Those are great too. I like these. The vintage <laughs> measuring spoons. This is, this is uh, tourist art uh, from the Philippines as well. Uh, probably the most common type of tourist art that you see from uh, the Pacific. But, yeah. but they can be a lot of fun if you're looking to fill in a vintage tiki bar. Yeah. And if you like clowns and sad old ones. Um, no. no. No, I don't. Oh. Did you find anything we're getting today, babe? I found many things that I would like, but they won't fit in my luggage. I know. That's it, Lola. Nothing costs us like the antiques we're going to buy. I know. And I will go home today. and think about all the things that I need. Bossa Nova.